Hey guys, what's going on? This is Justin from Xenox Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about uh, Adobe Photoshop CS5 and Cinema 4D. I'm going to be showing you how to be able to import these paths into Cinema 4D to be able to make it a 3D object. The paths that we're going to be using are this text right here that is in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. Go to File, New to create a new project, and I'm going to make it 500 by 500. I find that works best, and click OK. Now the first thing that you're going to do once you get in here is make the background color black with the paint bucket tool. So do that and click on your text creation tool and make the color of it white. All this does is make it a whole lot easier to work with, a whole lot easier to see what kind of things you need to tidy up a little bit and fix up. So I'm going to use a nice font for this. I'm using BN, BN Expo. Sorry about that and I'm using it at 400 points this is I'm using it like that because it is such a small text to begin with such a small font so go ahead and type in your first letter or whatever you're putting in there and duplicate this layer right here that you just made name it whatever you want to I'm gonna put a T because that is what I will be using and click OK now what you're going to do is you're going to edit this to your the actual letter that you're using per se I'm using T and we're gonna double click on or click on this one and control click the X and go to rasterize type all this does is makes it to where you can move it around and just kinda mess around with it a whole lot more and just move them to where you want to I usually put them in the middle of the screen it does keep things a whole lot more clean in all that stuff and just make whatever you would like I'm using it like this because I think that looks best and I can't really think of anything else to put it like I guess I could put it like that or something but I don't know, that doesn't look too good. So I'm just going to stick with this for now. And move that up a little bit. Maybe down a little bit more. Yeah, I'll keep it back up there. Okay. Now we're going to merge both of these layers. So click on this and control click it just like we were going to rasterize it. Right click and go to merge layers. As you can see, all this did was make it one layer. And of course, because it's merge layers. But anyway. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hide our background and go to the uh, magic wand tool and I guess I could select a layer that would probably help and just select the stuff that you just made. Uh, now go to your paths and click on this little button right here. It's called make work path from selection. All this does is creates a path around it. As you can see, like if I was to add the background back in, it's not exactly on. I'm not too sure how to fix that. If anybody does know how to fix that, please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know because I have no idea how to do it. I'm still kind of new to Photoshop. So anyway, I'm going to hide my background again. I just do that because it helps me keep things a little bit more tidy. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator. Click OK and choose a place to save it as. I'll just save it to my desktop and name it, I don't know, Paths Tut. Okay, and save it. Now you will notice a new icon on your desktop. That is the paths that we're going to be importing into Cinema 4D. So I'm going to go to File, New. And I'm going to go to File. You can either choose Merge if you have an existing project open, or you can go to Open if you just want to open it in a new project. I'm just going to click Open and look for my paths. Double click it and click OK. And you will notice that it's not 3D. If you watch my 3D text tutorial, you would know how to make it 3D. It's the same as making 3D text the first way that I put in there. Go to your NURBS tab and go to Extrude NURBS. Click on the pass and drag it up to extrude nerves, and now it is 3D. And you can do whatever you want to with it. Um, make it a little bit bigger in depth, or all that stuff. Um, I usually do caps like I do on everything else. Do a fillet cap on the starting and ending. It looks a whole lot better, but it just kind of depends on what you're doing. But that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me or leave me a comment, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.